Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Welcome back to Zawada Farms. We have a Valentine's Day video for you. I'm out in the single digit temperatures with my helpers this morning. Um, when the temperatures drop below zero, the cows on the east side of the road, uh, west side of the road, I'm sorry, um, we feed them hay in the feeder wagon and we water them out of their watering hole, which is a small stream right behind the farm here. Uh, single digits and below zero temperatures of the last week or two have the crick frozen over completely. So we have with us our tools of the trade, which we use to open up the crick and water the cows. We're gonna take you down there, show you how we do that. Um, it's a crummy job to do. Um, you know, if you have anything going on and you're feeding cows late at night, we have to go open up the crick. Um, it sucks. It's winter time. It's February. Let's get it done. All right guys, we're down here on the creek. Here is our rapids. There's a bunch of stones piled up and the water is, is trickling over it. The dog's trying to expose it right now too to get a drink. <laughs> but here's the spot that's, here's all that's left open. Joe, bring it in here and show. That's all that's open right now of the water for the cows to drink. Okay, so we're gonna start this open with the bar. start opening up this water. This is going to open all the way up right in here. Let's get some of this removed. All right, so because we have about uh, 10, 12 cows over here, I want to open up an additional spot so that the cows aren't, if they all come down here at once, um, I don't want them pushing and shoving on the ice. I know this is inherently dangerous. We did have an incident um, a few years back where a cow slipped on the ice and uh, needed, some, needed some rehabilitation uh, because she did the splits on the ice. So, I do know the dangers of this. Um, like some of my other YouTube friends have said, you, you can't make all of your um, you can't make all of the uh, changes necessary or changes that you want. Um, all the uh, engineering that needs to be done going into winter. So you make do with what you have. And uh, this is the cow's watering hole all summer. They naturally come down here looking for a drink, even as it as it gets to be into winter time. And only in these really sub-zero temperatures 
does it freeze over and uh, require this action. So, so this is how we do it. Is it right or wrong? I don't care. That's what we do. Hey, right, Joe. Yep. So should we ice fish here? No. Yeah. Why not? Because. Because all we'll catch is crayfish? Maybe. And stones? That's what we're down Sure, if you like this puppy, this puppy's my buddy. Yeah, he's my buddy. He won't hurt you. Hi, Molly. Hello, girl. Bye, Minnie. All right, so we've also had a few requests to uh, show this awesome stream that we have on the farm. You can see that we use it for watering. We've <laughs> We're taking a little walk on it right now and uh, it just winds through the farm. It's about a foot deep, maybe eight foot wide. It is the Bark River, nice little stream trout stream well then I'm maybe I should get off if your little skinny butt broke through the ice layers of ice on top of layers of ice. It must be deer poop. Maybe it's deer poop. Squish, squish. Rabbit poop. Let's go ball. Watch out for that wire. Here's where the cow pasture ends. It doesn't end for us, hey? All right, guys, this part of the, oh goodness, oh, I heard it crack. 
this part of the stream we don't use um, we don't pasture the cows anywhere near it this is just uh, beyond the cow pasture we like to let them get right to the edge because of the trees for shade and the brush here for knocking flies off in the summer and obviously for drinking um, Ooh, the sound of that ice you might witness me falling through the ice here I'm gonna cut through these trees Ooh. I'm gonna get my feet wet I promise I won't drop the phone oh god Ooh. that's a bad feeling folks that is a bad feeling when you're on thin ice What? It sound yeah, yeah, it did sound thin. All right. Well, don't stand next to me. You added more weight. <laughs> you think it's funny? You won't go through. I will. All right. All right, here's that sweet bridge. The sweet bridge that I made. Ooh. Uh, you hear that? Oh boy. I'm gonna want, I'm gonna want to get a stick and try and bust a hole through and see how deep. I, we can't be much more than six inches or a fo uh, foot deep at, at best. Hey, buddy. I'll film from the safety of my bridge. Not that way, Joe. Pound it straight down like you were. Was it just the top layer? That's what I thought. All right. I don't think it is, Joe. <laughs> I think it might be more than just the top layer. Wait, wait, wait. Now the whole thing shakes, Joe. <laughs> All right, folks. I've done enough filming. We got lucky. We haven't fallen through. I hope I showed you... Uh, something new on the farm here. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Just having a little family time, a little fun time here on Valentine's Day out with the kids, breaking ice for the cows to drink, taking care of our chores. We're going to make our way back and maybe we'll catch a couple of shots of the cows getting a drink down at the water. Unless I fall through and get wet feet first. All right to be continued. Could wear a blindfold 